This video explains how to remove an A values in a data frame in one of the columns using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the console by running line five of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in our studio that we have created a new data set which contains seven rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. And as you can see, some of the data cells in our data frame are an A. So if we want to drop all the rows in our data frame with at least one NA value in one of the columns, then we can simply apply the NA.omit function to our data frame, as you can see in line seven of the code. And in this case, I'm storing the output of the NA.omit function in a new data frame that I'm calling data all NA. So after running line seven of the code, this new data frame called data all NA is appearing at the top right of our studio. And we can print this data frame to the console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that our output data frame contains only two rows. However, all of the values in our data frame are not an A. However, as you have seen in this example, we have removed many rows from our data set. So for that reason, you might prefer to remove only those rows in a data set that are an A in a specific column. And this is what I'm showing you in the next example in line 10 of the code. So in this case, I'm using the is.na function to remove only those rows that are an A in the column x2. And I'm storing the output of this in another data frame that I'm calling data call an A. So after running line 10 of the code, this data frame is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that our new data frame contains five rows. All of the values in the columns x1 and x2 are not an A. However, you can see that we have kept some of the rows that are an A in the third column x3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.